So what is a transformer? This is an example of a transformer. And a transformer is used to either step up or step down alternating current. So here I have, it's basically a power cable with a switch on it. This is 120 volts AC going into one side of the transformer. And uh, there are wraps of wire in here and we're gonna get a different voltage out of the other side. So, let's go to AC here, stick our meter on, got uh, about 20 volts coming out of this side. Like I said, if I measure this side, We have 120 volts. So 120 volts in and magically we're getting 19 out this side. Alternating current AC. So how does this work? Well essentially there's a coil of wire so the electricity comes in on the primary side and there's coil of wire and the secondary side is also a coil of wire but basically you just wrap the wire in a ratio so we were getting 20 volts out of here and it was 120 here that's a ratio of about what five to one six to one so your primary side for every six turns of wire there is one turn of wire on the secondary so you get that six to one ratio here here's an example of a little transformer it had some blue tape that I kind of scraped off but you can see that it's basically just wire wrapped around and around so a transformer in its pure form is basically two coils of wire there's a primary coil and a secondary coil of wire that are not conducting but they're basically coiled up and set next to each other in a nice tidy package like this. How does that work? Well, there are two things you need to know first. Number one, when you pass electricity through a wire, it creates a magnetic field. Just like how you can take a magnet and pick up metal objects or the magnetic field in the earth, it's the same thing only it's created by electricity moving through a wire. We can easily demonstrate um, how to create a magnet using a wire or an electromagnet just by taking a piece of wire and a nail and wrapping the wire round and round and round okay I am done now so I've wrapped the wire around the only important thing is that you have to if you start wrapping in a direction don't stop and wrap it the other way because that will counteract the electric field the magnetic field will counteract each other so just go one direction one direction only the two ends of the wire here is a battery. So, go ahead and see. Not magnetic. Attach battery. And voila. We have made a electromagnet. Atta disattach the lead. No trickery. Number two, if you take a magnet and pass it next to a wire, you actually create some current flow. Here's our handy electromagnet that we made in the first part of this video. So if we took a magnet and threw it on there, no, it doesn't create electricity. That would be too easy. But if you watch the meter, you'll see right when I do it, you get a little spike. So in order to create electricity, it has to be alternating. You have to hit it lots of times. Well, I cheated. Taking a drill bit 
and attached some magnets to it and watch the wonder. Granted, this isn't much electricity, but it's proving my point. Look at that. We're creating some electricity with a magnet on the wire. So we know that if we pass a pulsing magnetic field next to a wire or a coil of wire that we can generate electricity. So where could we find a good power source to generate this pulsing magnetic field? Well, it is no coincidence that the power that comes down the line and into your home is called alternating current. <laughs> alternating current as its name might indicate, is alternating or pulsing. And it's doing this 60 times a second, which makes it perfect for use with a transformer. Back to our original question, how a transformer works. Well, essentially, there are two coils of wire stuck up next to each other. A lot nicer in this uh, transformer, but you run alternating current about 120 volts in the US on one side up to some another set of wire and you just need a ratio of wire so if you have a hundred turns here and 50 turns here you're running 120 volts through here you'd get 60 volts here because the uh, electromagnetic field will transfer the electricity from one coil of wire to another 